it's Kalina and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be filming a little 2020 recap. I'm pretty much just going to be going through some of the things, some of the fun things that happened in 2020, some of the things I failed at, and some of the things that I succeeded at. So yeah, it's pretty much going to be a recap. Also, I'm going to have to talk kind of fast during this video because I just filmed it and realized it was too long. So now I'm refilming it and making it shorter. So um, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to try and make it super, super short and sweet and to the point. So with that being said, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And while you're already like down there, you might as well um, give this video a thumbs up because why not? Like it's one more thing, but like, you can do it. I got that. You got this. You can do it. Um, so just give it a thumbs up and yeah, let's just get into the video. So pretty much under my bed, I had this whole box of like memories throughout high school and also just life memories. So this is where I got most of these photos from. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing that happened in 2020, which was on January 18th, um, that was a Saturday. We went to a concert um, for Christmas. Our grandma had gotten these concert tickets. So we went to a concert that was fun. And then in February, we went to an escape room with our friends. Picture's really cringy, but yeah, it was a super fun time. Um, we went with our friends and that was a photo from there and then we had Hoko or no we had Koho um, If you don't know what that is it's pretty much just a dance and we went with, I went with my friends It was me Andrea Kira Courtney and Catherine. So yeah, we all went this is our photo kind of cringy All these pictures are really cringy just saying if Andrea doesn't stop making noise I apologize for the sound Andrea keeps being a buffoon in there and making as much loud as po much sound as possible but this is the photo from then and then I also took a photo with one of my friends Stefan this photo I hate this photo so much because I look so gross but I figured I would just add it in there just because um and then I think around March maybe I don't even know if basketball happens in March so I really don't know when this happened I probably actually know it's probably like I don't know but we surprised our friends at their basketball game me Catherine Eddie and Gabby and Andrea and then we also had another picture from there literally the same exact picture and then, this is super duper cringy. On the last day of school, we hung out with the Persian Tellies and um, we took this really cringy time timer pick and their siblings were sitting right there watching us so that was really awkward and then also we decided we wanted to go on a Hawaii trip so we literally pretend like we were in Hawaii and spent the night at each other's house like one night their house one night our house and made it seem like we were in Hawaii so this was fun, we pretend like we were in downtown Hawaii and like dressed in like I don't know summery fits and then we have another photo from there Sorry if like you can't really tell. And then we also dyed shirts all together and wore them while we were in Hawaii because we all wanted to match and we took photos then too. You can't even really tell because this photo is so like, I don't know, but those are some photos from that. And then this isn't a photo, but in 2020, I learned that I want to live in Arizona. So we got these stickers to create a vision board. I actually got them for Christmas. I got another pack too. Pretty much I'm just going to create a vision board. Um, also 2020, I turned 16. This is one of my favorite birthday cards I got, so I kept it. It said, happy birthday to my wonderful sister. But I just thought the card was super cute. And then last memory that was like the most recent was from Halloween. We went to a little party and me and Skylar, iconic duo right here, took a photo together. Um, I, me and my friends were hippies and then the dance group was all, um, what are you called? What are you called? Care Bears. So yeah, so those are two of the photos from that. But those were pretty much some of the fun like little memories that I have photos of from that. But they were all super fun. I miss all of those, especially Coho. I really want to go to Coho. But whatever, I guess we're just going to wait till next year. So yeah, okay, so now I'm going to get into some of like the struggles or like failures of this year. But like a lot of these things I put in here, but like I struggled with them way before 2020. But this year I struggled with them extra hard. And also a lot of the things that I put in here, I also like overcame in 2020. So we're just going to start off. There's kind of a lot. So we're going to kind of go through these kind of fast. Okay, so the first thing which kind of messed up a lot of me was confidence. I had no confidence in myself. I still kind of struggle with confidence, but I definitely didn't have like any confidence 2020 or any of the years before that. So confidence. Um, I also had a feeling of like that I wasn't enough, but it was also really because like I was trying to please others, which was the third thing on my list, which... I tried to please others like really like a lot and whenever they weren't pleased with me or they didn't seem like they were pleased it made me feel like I didn't do enough if that makes sense. Andrea gave me this really good point which I feel like kind of was a lot of what I tried to do this year which was real quote. Okay you can't like 
love your like love somebody into loving you. Basically, there you go. Much. You can't just like. <laughs> Wait, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'll explain it. You know what? Because Make I was the one that said it. Because you can't love someone just because you love someone so much and you keep doing acts of service to them and you keep doing like that. That's not. You, that's not gonna make someone love you more or even just like you, like you yeah. like not like like you like, that way but you like like just, you as a friend if they're not gonna love you you loving them isn't going to change that like there's yeah to or a like point where you just can't you any can't. deeds that you do like they're not gonna be good enough for them because they clearly don't care about you yeah you can't love someone that's something i tried to do a lot this year and i never really thought of it until she said that though i struggled with that honestly i still do but that's something i learned this year about myself is that i try to love others into loving me or accepting me it do I do things to others to get them to accept me for who I am, if that makes sense. But it's not a good thing. So, yeah, I struggle with that. But I still kind of do, and we're working on it. Um, But also, having a lack of confidence and, like, getting others' approvals led to, like, a decrease in my positivity because, like, you know, you're constantly feeling like you weren't doing enough for people, which, like, can mentally affect you and make you like seem like down all the time because like you're just constantly trying to please others and you're getting nothing in return which I don't want to say you're not getting anything in return but like you're working hard to get someone to appreciate you but they aren't so it feels like you're not I don't even know I don't even know it's a whole thing but yeah positivity level decreased um I became more anxious and more overwhelmed with school and everything um there was a lot of men you know this year I never really had mental breakdowns but 2020 I had plenty of mental breakdowns um just becoming overwhelmed and stressed. There was a lot of that. Anxiety. Also something about me is before I was really good at hiding my emotions and like I would just kind of like not tell anyone. I would just deal with it on my own. But I opened up more this year and kind of expressed how I feel more. But there's still some things that I don't really like to say so I'll kind of hide it. But I feel like I definitely opened up more this year. And it's not like things I hide in like a bad way but it's just like certain emotions I feel. I'll hide them and just pretend like I don't want to know what they are. I don't know. I only have like four things left of struggles for this year. So the next thing was gossiping, which led to insecurity. You, when you're insecure, you judge others. And when you judge others, it leads to gossiping about others because you want others to seem like they are, are not as good of a person as they are, which I was scared that people, other people were doing that about me. So it kind of was like a uno reverso type thing where like you would do it so that way it would make you feel better about, I don't know. You make you feel better about yourself, but evidently that didn't work and we're not doing that anymore. So yeah. And then the last thing, which kind of goes with everything is wanting a relationship super super bad i feel like i'm not the only person but something i struggled with a lot was really wanting to be in a relationship but it wasn't necessarily for the fact that i wanted to be in love with someone it was just the fact that i wanted someone to do things with no <laughs> it sounded so bad i wanted someone to do like fun activities with like you know like go to the drive-in movies or like dates someone to go on a date with that was really the thing i didn't really want to be in a relationship i just wanted to go on dates if that makes sense. Confusion. But anyways, yeah. So I'm going to go on a date with. Um, which led me to like really being... So I wanted a relationship. But then like I would look at them and be like, okay, well technically they meet most of my standards. So like I guess I can compromise. And I would try to like compromise my way into like saying that they're like, I don't know, the one or something. But yeah, so pretty much I've led myself telling them that they meet my standards. But really they don't. And Andrea keeps being super loud. Next time, note to self, never film a video downstairs. Never. Anywho, next thing is I also would like look at people and I still kind of do this, but I'm trying to work on it and like figure out what the purpose of them being in your life is. Because like if they, <laughs> Andrea's laughing, but it's true. Like I feel like every person is put in your life for a reason. And like after they're out of your life, you can see why they were put in your life. But I try and figure out why they're in my life while they're in my life which isn't a good thing because then like you're constantly like stressing and worrying about it when you should just be enjoying it if that makes sense i don't really know a lot of the things i'm thinking i feel like nobody else can relate to but i don't know so pretty much you try and figure out why they're in your life before they're out of your life assuming that they're going to become like they're out of your life like Mm. okay what? last thing is which really was the big problem with this entire thing the entire thing the big reason was <laughs> i'm adding that okay um no Just anyways main reason why all this struggle was happening was because i wasn't pursuing a relationship with the lord and that just led to if i was pursuing if i would have been pursuing a relationship with the lord the entire time i wouldn't have worried about um, I mean, obviously these things will still happen. Wouldn't have had such a big role in my struggles in 2020 was confidence. I would have realized my worth in the Lord. It would have helped with gossiping. It would have helped with trying to please others. It would have helped with everything. Not feeling less anxious, less overwhelmed. 
everything. So that was a big problem is I wasn't pursuing a relationship with the Lord. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, I apologize if I've been laughing and smiling a lot in this video. This is like a more serious video, but it's very hard when Andrea is sitting over there eating. Munching on a pie. <laughs> munching on pumpkin pie <laughs> while you're trying to film a video. And then like making a lot of ruckus in the kitchen, trying ruckus. to make grilled cheese, trying to everything under the sun. So it's not supposed to be a funny video, but just make it a little difficult. Anywho, time to get on to my successes. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk more about some of the successes of 2020 because yeah, there were also a couple successes, not too many, but there were a couple successes of 2020 in spite of all of the little struggles. So, so first things first is in 2020, I started my YouTube channel, as you guys know. Um, we got up the courage and the confidence to do it. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this success. I babysat for a long time and earned enough money to buy this camera which was expensive especially coming from someone who had zero dollars and i literally worked my way to buy all of it yeah <laughs> so that was success buying this this camera um another success is i got a real job um so yeah marcel if you're watching you should be proud of me um <clears throat> and then i also stopped caring so much about instagram likes <laughs> Which is gonna sound stupid, but so yeah, I stopped caring so much about Instagram likes and like about Instagram itself. Like I post more regularly and it's like a more carefree type of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna hurry up and try and finish this up. I feel like I've been talking forever. But anyways, yeah, so also I realized that I need to get deeper with the Lord, which is a pro because like, like I said, I can help with everything that I struggle with this year. So yeah, realized that we need to get deeper with the Lord, which I've been working on. Also, I realized that guys aren't everything. Um, honestly, you need to stop trying to find a guy when guy ha when God has a guy planned for you. And stop like trying to like plan everything out because like he has a plan for you. You know, like obviously still plan, but like don't like over consume yourself with trying to plan everything and not letting the Lord have control. So yeah, those are pretty much like the main things that I learned this year and my successes. So yay to that. Um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry this was so chaotic and so long, but I really, 2020 overall was a 5 out of 10 year. I did have a lot of good things that happened out of 2020, but there were also a lot of difficult things that happened out of 2020, but there were way worse things that could have been happening to me, so I'm not going to complain. It was definitely a 5 out of 10, so they still got 5 points. That's an E, but it's still 50%, so you're half full, not half empty. Anywho, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to get like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications, and comment down below if my comments are on, like, comment down below, like, what your favorite memory of 2020 was. No one will probably do it, but, like, if you comment down below, you're a real one. Comment down below what your favorite memory of 2020 was. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and now let's get into the verse of the day. Okay, so the verse of the day is going to be something that really, like, stuck with me this entire year, and something that will stick with me throughout 2021 and the rest of my life, and I feel like this is a verse that really meaningful for me. So it's Jeremiah 29, 13, and it says, you will seek and find me when you seek me with your whole heart saying that we need to seek the lord with everything we have when we start to seek him and start to get into him he'll whenever we draw close to him he'll draw close to us so like if we want to be deeper with him we have to draw close to him. you just have to draw close to the lord and he'll draw close to you and you need to seek him with your whole heart and he will reveal himself to you so yeah with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said don't forget to thumbs up um subscribe turn on your post notifications and comment down below what your favorite memory of 2020 was and i'll see you guys in my next video